reading from Matthew, the second chapter, verses 1 to 12. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Margot from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard, heard this, he was, he was disturbed, and all Jerusalem with him. When he had called together all the people's chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them where the Messiah was to be born. In Bethlehem in Judea, they replied, for this is what the prophet has written. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Margoi secretly and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me so that I too may go and worship him. After they had heard the king, <clears throat> they went on their way, and the star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented to him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. So we sing, O come, all ye faithful. Please stand.
Our seventh reading is taken from uh, St. John's Gospel, chapter 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. He was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become the children of God, children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision or a husband's will, but born of God. The word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only son who came from the father, full of grace and truth. I invite you, as you are already, just to be still. To let the words and the images of the readings and carols stay with you. For in all that's going on in our lives, for all that we are hoping for over the next week or so, the people that we are planning to be with, we hope. Can I invite you to be still and remember? If you like to take a deep breath and inhale what is at the heart of Christmas, or rather, who? is at the heart of Christmas. For at the heart of Christmas, in the simplest of cradles, the manger becomes a sacred and holy place where God takes on flesh and enters into our world takes his first breath, tiny, vulnerable. And when we follow the story of the life of that babe who becomes the man, the story of the life of Jesus and of the reason for his coming, for you, for me, we may begin to glimpse something of the heart of God for his world. A love that shines through heartbreak and sorrow, disappointment, and what we all know about at the moment, uncertainty, as well as joy and delight. A love that lives out the name given to the child of the manger. Emmanuel, God with us. God is still with us. And the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby, 
wrote these words, wherever and whoever you are, you too are welcome and invited this Christmas to worship the child, the God whose heart beats for you. Emmanuel, God with us. We're going to hear a carol that takes up that theme now. What hope we hold this starlit night? The King is born. In our prayers this evening, we're going to light three, three candles, one that looks back uh, with memory, one which looks around us with thanksgiving, and one that looks forward with hope. So let's pray. Come, Father, to light this first candle. And so we light this light in memory. For the people we have lost, for the goodbyes that went unsaid, for the celebrations that never happened, for the jobs that came to an end, for the times we felt alone, for the silence and the waiting, 
for the loss of things hoped for, for the days that never came. And we light this light in thankfulness. We light this light in thankfulness for those in every occupation who risk their lives for others. For the gift of family, for friends and neighbors, and for the kindness of strangers. For signs of hope in unexpected places. For the gift of creation, and for those striving to safeguard the integrity of our planet. For the faith and the hope which sustains us through the darkest places. And above all, for the precious gift of Jesus, the light of the world. We light this light. as we anticipate the kingdom coming. And so we hold our flickering lights before the pain and suffering of our world, longing for the yoke of justice, injustice to be lifted, for the rod of oppression to be broken, for bloodshed and conflict to cease, for the reign of justice and righteousness, for the coming of the wonderful counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. And so we light these lights for the source of all light, for the light of the world, for the one who comes to fill us with light and hope, for the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, earth as in heaven. Dear day our daily bread, forgive us as our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so we come to the blessing for all of us. May the joy of the angels, the wonder of the shepherds, and the peace of the Christ child be and fill you with comfort and joy. May God bless you and hold you in his hand this night, this Christmas time, and forevermore. Amen. So let's stand and sing. Hark the herald, angels sing.
please be seated.